My name is Dio Morales, and we are bringing you the Indiana Regional here, top four, bringing you an exciting game here with two lists that if you told me at the beginning of this tournament that these two would be in the top four, I would have not believed you. So we have here triple Star Vipers that we actually just saw uh, won a game here uh, versus Quad Wookies. Uh, really down to the wire here, really back and forth. Go back and watch that game when you have an opportunity. Uh, actually, it was really exciting. You got to see Ben do a good job of moving damage around and uh, and getting shots. We're looking now for uh, forward to this matchup and uh, and how things go. Are you leaving? Because uh, Gord I was, I was going to have Gordon, okay. Gordon jump on. It's going to be a good match, though. All right, so uh, we started here, and Brandon Thayer starting with a sideways approach here. He's going to, we saw in his game earlier, he likes to keep them in the block formation and uh, see in where he's going to be able to commit um, and find all four arcs. All four arcs on um, on one of these Star Vipers, and I am once again joined from uh, by Gordon Berg of Stay on Target. How are you doing, Gordon? I'm doing good, Dion. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So we got the top four here, and we want to thank you to uh, Family Time Games for uh, hosting this regional, and um, and keeping everything running smoothly. And let's uh, let's get that timer started because timers are important, right? One thirteen. Yeah. You put in 113 about 10 seconds and you'll have it accurate. All right, there we go. Boom. And we got to fix Ezra's PS because for some reason, we, <laughs> we, we that just keeps happening. We're going to have to work on that. Something in the XWS format is, uh, isn't. Uh, okay, so initial reaction to this. Do you think Brandon may be faced with the same issues that Tony just had in the last round at some point? Um, Maybe less of an issue because of 360 turrets, but how many of these are true turrets? None of them right now. I didn't, sorry, I haven't seen the complete list. Does he have BTL on there? He does have BTLA for right now. So you keep that Y-Wing arc locked as long as you don't do damage to it. Okay. So that's an advantage that uh, Ben can have. Uh, he does have pilot skill advantage with um, with both uh, Shizor and Dalen. Um, I'm not sure who has initiative here. Um, I don't know. We'll catch that once uh, once we look at movement again. Um, Three of these are capable of K turns, I guess, at some point. So other mm -hmm. than Lorik just having to hard three, hard two, hard two, hard two. Brand is going to be super patient. He just wants to draw in those three Star Vipers. Now, before we get too far in here, I like to do predictions. Let's get this done. Give me a number one if you think Brandon Thayer is going to win this game, and a number two if you think Ben Knotts is going to get to the final. One for Brandon Thayer and his Rebel Jank and Two for Ben Knotts and his Star Vipers. Do you have an opinion? Not that you're going to sh share it, but do you have one? So this seems like a tough matchup for Brandon if Ben can stay out of arcs. If he catches one of these Star Vipers with all four of these ships in arc, he's just going to delete one. Mm -hmm. No question. He'll delete it. So it's going to come down to whether or not uh, Brandon can basically trick Ben into letting him uh, get one of these guys in arc. Now we know it's tough. They have PTL. They have their funky barrel rolls and all that. Um, but we have to see how Ben leverages that. I've seen Brandon play this before, and you do this like any other block of Rebel, sh sh oh, yeah. Rebel Swarm. You won four to victory, right? Right. So I don't know if that's a good idea if him being patient still takes him into the rocks because that can be a problem at some point. I'm going to be counting up these votes here. So it looks like currently we have uh, Ben as a two-to-one favorite. 
from the crowd. After watching what he just did, even if it is recency bias, how can you not think? Right. I mean, he, 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 he did what he had to do to survive. Um, you know, we do have to admit that there was a couple of roles where things could have gone badly for his Star Vipers, but uh, it worked out. Yeah, when you leave it up to dice variants, um, Tony would have needed some better natural rolls in that last match. Mm -hmm. um, one thing to note here, he does have the stress bot, the uh, R3A2 on Ezra, and with Ben pushing every turn, that could cause a problem for Ben. If he can catch one of these Star Vipers in arc for one turn and lock down his shenanigans, that could be the turn where he deletes one of them. Right, and since I just played that, what's interesting here is when you play it in Hagwood's list, mm -hmm. right, what he won Minnesota with, Right. you tend to be pretty aggressive with Ezra when you think you can set up that snapshot and yes. really lock something down. Look where he's playing his Ezra. Right? In it's, the back. It's, it's, and it's, it's, therefore, it's even harder to get the snapshot to trigger. Um, I, I don't know if, I'm sorry, does he even have, yeah, he does yeah, have snapshot. Does. So maybe that's something he breaks out at a later point where he just goes, I just need to point at something to put a stress on it. So Brandon is committing left. He thinks he can catch, um, that is, Dalen Oberos at the top. We have Shizor on the bottom. And yep. Guri in the middle. Where are you going? As for rocks, um, you, I'm pretty sure one bank's clear that rock. Fine. Yeah, there's It'll there's no fine. way he's turning turning right. And any of these vipers can bail at any time. Seems fine to me. So I think what happens is he does these uh one banks to the left and then what will be interesting is does he then just continue on or does he do hard twos and come into that like from the top of our screen right down into that basket of rocks if you will which generally tends to be a mistake on future moves unless you can really navigate those gaps mm -hmm. and is he willing to do that with his block of ships Ben is going to dictate when the fight starts, and I don't know what Brandon can do about it because Brandon really just wants to joust you. Yep. <laughs> now, I haven't seen any of other uh, other of Brandon's games. I'm curious to know if he ever split up his formation um, early to try to make a kill box of sorts because that might be what he has to do, kind of cast a wide net in order to catch one of these Vipers. We haven't got there yet. Okay. That's pretty cool. Watch for it. Yeah. So we did see Brandon. Uh, what, that's Tyler Tippett over my shoulder here, um, hanging out. And um, <laughs> we did see Brandon use the Chopper Crew to open up the TLT uh, using the Chopper Crew, which says that you can basically you can chuck a card off your off your ship as an action to gain a shield and regen. Uh, sorry. He actually did it off the action coordination. Yep. So there's a there's a lot of different ways you can do that. So two banking, he's uh, hoping. But if uh, if Ben just does a one forward here with Dalen, he just kind of scoots to the uh, scoots to Dalen's left and says, uh, "I don't want to play this game." But also Brandon has the then has the two hard to the right open to try to cast the net to the right. Now we're blessed in the sense that. And apologies for the opinion there <laughs> that we got in the other matchup, Ghost versus Ghost, right? Yes. So the good news is only one Ghost will be in the final. Correct. The bad news is there will be a Ghost in the final. There Assuming you guys care one way or the other about that. Um, but uh, both these lists, I think, have an answer to Ghost. I saw Brandon's th list just melt yes. a Ghost list. Um I have to assume Ben faced ghosts at some point in the match or uh, on his way to the uh, top he, four or he not? He had to. I didn't get an opportunity to ask him, but uh, I so mean. So I would assume both these lists have strategies for that. I mean, he has triple triple auto thruster aces. Uh, you bring Guri into range one, you get double focuses. I mean, there's. These hyper repositioning chips probably can donut hole that side bank more than any others, and otherwise he's like, well, let's let thrusters do work. Mm-hmm.
And it does look like uh, Ben has initiative. So we're going to go ahead and put that initiative token out there. Because that could matter later. And here comes Dalen. Dalen does the one forward. That's a safe move. And you know, both these lists play very differently, right? Brandon has to be very aggressive. He's I'm getting I'm gonna put my arcs in a spot. Don't be there, because if you are, you're gonna pay. Ben has to be patient, take his time, find the spots. You can't you can't rush rush play. Um, you don't want to joust with your three star vipers, is I guess what right. I'm saying. But to some extent, Brandon's list is so predictable in where it is going to go as long as he maintains that formation. And you've got these really ultimate, have we seen repositioning out of these things like this ever before? Other than, like no, just just in general as far as the... the maybe, Ki maybe Kylo is... Right, but across multiple ships as opposed to the one ship in your right, list. Right, true. You've true, got true. three of them. So Caesar might be able to get a shot here if he wants it this turn uh, with a boost. We'll see what Ben chooses to do. Is there room for Brandon to set up K turns? Yes, absolutely. Right, but so. <laughs> He does a two or a three and then just falls right back in. Right, but the point is is he's, strict, he's two turns away from just having it all set back up again. He's only going to go one turn where it's pseudo not together. And then he's, for the most part, has the formation mostly intact again, coming back out of the K turn. So Ben is Ben decided not to boost forward to get a shot. He is not stressed with Shizor. Um, and again, I do you think maybe he's just trying to draw him in the rocks? Like we see maybe uh, Guri and Caesar just kind of leave and see if he can get Brandon to go in the rocks. Who's drawing who through here? If Ben right. can draw Brandon through the rocks. No, no, no. But I, I'm wondering if both are sort of thinking that. This is true. Right? Because he turned away, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and it's obvious what he's doing. I'm wondering to what degree he's doing shenanigans or he just doesn't care and he'll worry about no. where he's at in two turns. So, Sorry about okay. that flame beast. I, I must have missed that. A lot going on. What happened? I guess he did boost. He was just out. Okay. My bad. So it's whether these bottom two vipers kind of raced forward? Mm -hmm. So we got the, the two hards here from... Uh, from the formation, we're going to assume that Ezra and Loric are going to be doing the same thing. That X-Wing might just have arc. It's really close. It looks like Probably not currently, but uh, if Ezra and Loric turn in, they will have arc. So Gurry has some decisions to make here. Could get out, I think, if he barrel rolls to the left and then boosts out. Right. Interesting. He didn't. He didn't push. He, he didn't just took the focus. He he yeah, he didn't reposition. He stayed there. Right, because he, he he doesn't does not. Yeah, single stress. But but he could he could have gotten out by yeah. just and coming this way. I got a feeling he is looking at that gap ahead of him in those rocks as his exit. Whereas if he repositioned, he's then really like if he angles in. Uh, the hook towards the upper left facing into that block, and he doesn't want that. And if he hooks the other way, he's out of the fight for too long. It's true. So he's willing to weather the storm 
to shoot that gap. What's that? And then that's true. Yeah, we don't we, we don't know what Caesar is going to do. That is true. Okay, in the hands of a good pilot, that's not a concern, Tippett. <laughs> So it's going to have um, auto thrusters probably on at least one of the shots there, the one coming from Lorik. And Shizor is shimmying over. And uh, might get caught in the corner. This is, sorry, that's Dalen. Dalen might get caught in the corner this next turn. Because he he's already used his barrel roll. His bo only option is boost. That's interesting. He turned instead of gunning. Well, we'll see how many arcs are on Dalen. You just boost my mic. Oh, yeah. I'm loud in my own headset now. Not that loud. <laughs> because he would have right, blocked himself. Right, he would have blocked. Yeah, okay. And here's the boost from Shizor. So we're going to get some shots from the Prince. Right. And he, he does need to... He's going to need to... Uh, to barrel roll to, to give his... Uh, his other Star Viper away out. That's a lot of guts. Um, he's debating on an action. There's the roll. Oh. <coughs> and that's going to be the push. Can Ezra reach that upper right? That's close. That's close for sure. Because if he can get a stress there, that really. I mean, that's the first arc I would measure. Yeah. From, his Ezra. Yep. Uh, and looks like Shizor is going to take a shot at Ezra. Range. Two looks like. Is it obstructed? And is there no stress yet on Ezra? Not yet. That's sad. So hit crit, here comes two dice. He's safe, that worked out, no stress. So it, I mean, he had a focus, so he would have used that on defense. Uh, fire control system target lock is engaged. And now Dalen is up. Yeah, Dalen's in a bad spot. Um, yeah, I find it interesting that he turned instead of getting out. And uh, that's two. Uh, spends a focus, no damage. That was from the X-Wing. Okay, so he stresses Guri. Did he? I'm sorry. Did he measure with Ezra to the other? And it was I'm sorry. Out? This is this is Gur, this is Guri's shot. This is Guri's gotcha. shot. Gotcha. We don't know onto yet. Onto Ezra. He's debating, uh, spending the focus. He does not. And that's going to be a, sh blanks, right? a Loric and a shield. Yeah. So Ezra is down a shield. He just measured straight to Guri. He didn't. He didn't even check over there. Uh, that's Interesting. I think he could have killed Dalen in the next turn if he would have stressed him. Does that betray his intent on the follow-up turn, or is he just trying to limit? Okay. Here's, this is range three from Loric. Wookie commandos. Auto thrusters. Okay, so those are going to be all hard twos then out of Brandon's swarm to the right next turn. Um, that's, that's just out. out yeah. 
it's a shame he's got a split fire like that. I, 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 can I go over there and just measure for, <laughs> measure from Ezra to Dalen? I really want to. <laughs> and leave if me if alone? You, if you transpose that. On your puck? Uh, that'd be a bad uh, idea. I think he, I think he would have had it. I think so, too. All right. So that's just one hit. It's fine. Right. Got to roll the dice three times. Uh, we're measuring. He's st still worried about Curry. I know he likes that he doesn't have focus. But <laughs> All right, so range three here. Uh, primary first because of the BTL title. Whoa. Two crits. That, that seems better. <laughs> All right, so here comes TLTs. Shot number one. He will spend the focus for three. And auto thrusters focus, no damage. Here comes a second shot, just one. Auto thrusters. So one thing we might come and look back later in the game is we're pr I think all of us looking here are pretty sure he had range here to Dalen with Correct. Ezra, right? Correct. So if Dalen ends up doing significant damage in this game and mattering, this could be the, the spot where Brandon loses the game. Okay, so you're now trying to make a – this is too strong a word, mm -hmm. but let's call it – I was going to say judgment. Let's call That's it observation yeah. based on uh, a missed opportunity there. But right. the thing is, is – you probably got to plan a few more turns down the road a lot of times when you're flying. You know, True. What, when is your list based on I'll just take targets of opportunity as opposed to, no, I've got a plan here. And his plan was obvious that he was going to two-turn, two-turn into that. Right. And his thinking was if he could have gotten anything to – I'm sorry. You're good. Touch that. To Gurry there, mm -hmm. right, then it would have made for a much better chance at the follow-up to maybe get that ship off of the board. By committing to that, uh, that ship to, up in the upper right yeah. – it's 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 almost like splitting fire to to no avail to some extent, and then he's now maybe potentially going to be getting behind in a damage race. I I feel like he he's sticking to his plan all along and trusting his plan all along. We'll despite see. despite the amazing opportunity he had. Right, because I think he has two hearts to the left open. If he, if he had hit Dalen. Dalen probably tries tries to bail. Like, it would go th a three forward, but you still catch him in at least three out of the four arcs. Um, I feel like he's, he's, he's wanting to use this setup to his advantage, right or wrong. And it might work out. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, if he could catch one of these other Star Vipers, Star Vipers in all four Does arcs. Does his list afford him the flexibility you're thinking he should have taken? He... Like that situation you need to take advantage of requires some flexibility in, in his how he flies it. Um, and does this list really allow for that? I think so. Okay. I think so. He could have true turned. If he kills Dalen, whatever, you just you just start coming back around this way. Even if you bump, you just kind of go over. Your form, perfect formation might get broken I up a little bit. I feel bit, like he's wanting to use these rocks to help him out and to help mitigate these incredibly hyper mobile ships in getting behind him. Yep. Close the off the that's what they do. They're very good, but at least those rocks will help him a little bit. Whereas if he goes off into that corner there, mm -hmm. there's nothing stopping those ships from really getting behind him because they're going to do a much better job at getting up there quicker than he is and slow moving around on the outside ring there. True, true. But you did present your backside to Dalen. Dalen, Dalen now just gets to come and start taking pot shots in the back. Well, maybe his thinking is better one ship than two. True. Very, very true. Because we do learn very early that two is greater than one. Fake math. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, so we're waiting here on uh, Guri's actions. Yeah. You're getting dangerously close to how I do commentary, Dion. I'm a bad influence on you. Stick to your professionalism, please. <laughs> Right. Really like cut the, cut the edge, 
Curry's in a tough spot. Whacking these microphones. But he also doesn't want to block Steve Williams. Could he could he maybe barrel roll back to the left and then boost no. this? True. All right, so no push, just focuses. He's anticipating Ezra. Yeah. So he'll have double focus and still die. I mean. and here comes a two hard. Um, this will be a range one shot from Ezra into uh, into the Guri. Interestingly enough, do you uh, do you coordinate the rookie? I like it. I mean, it's it's better. Cause where's the? No, Can no, you trust no, what no, your no, shooting's no, gonna no, be there? No, Ezra's stress. Right, Ezra's stress. Mm. But even if he wasn't, does Lor does Loric focus here? That's a question. No, no, no Loric reinforces for the uh, reinforce does, for the back shot no, for to help out whoever is getting shot. Oh, he's got he's got Wookie commandos. He's got some yeah. modification. But you, you need, I mean, Lorik is functioning as bigs here in a sense. And needs needs to reinforce. He, he drops the focus. He d <laughs> I hate yeah. when you're right. He drops the focus. He's, just, he's, he's like, you know what? I might be able to kill the Starviper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's one forward from uh, Dalen. Wants to make sure he gets shots. Looking for the best way to do that. Don't die, Donald. Stop it. So there's the boost. Push for focus. We'll have an, a shot probably on Lorik here. Uh, that's close. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought that temple was at its. Oh, he banked. Never mind. Okay. No, I thought that was a straight, and I went, wait, yeah. what? <laughs> sure, I got this. Boost right and roll. Do you even have to roll? Mm -hmm. mm, well, I mean, you don't. You don't have to. I mean, to be safe. What are the greens on the viper? Uh, one, two, three straight, one bank. Yeah, one, Just two, banks. three straights, and one banks. So he's gonna do the roll. For the one bank. Mm -hmm. on yeah, he's going to say yeah, exactly. He's setting up the one bank next turn. Well, you might have to go Y-Wing here. Don't forget Guri. Don't forget Guri. Okay, so. Start a combat Guri. Start a combat Guri. I'm, I'm an idiot. What? <laughs> so Should Guri have stayed there? <laughs> oh, okay, he got it. He got it. Yeah. All right, so here is range. Okay. So this is range three at... Um, doesn't matter because it doesn't hit. Um, I still really think we're, st we're still going at the Y wing, the regenerating ship. I mean, he's th thinking about Ezra. See, see though, I, I. I know that he didn't take any damage, but isn't the right call there? He didn't do any damage to the Y wing. Why not shoot Lorik? Lorik didn't have any any reinforce. Um, uh, he most he was going to get was two shots on a ship, right? So he, he had no, he had no chance of clearing the ship. He is spending that. No, he spends a focus. This was on selflessness. Okay. So he's going to pull all that damage into Lorik. So it's going to be three shields. It's effectively attacking Lorik. So, yep, yep. So Lorik is down to five hole. And uh, now it is... There's four off, three shields and a... Oh, so... So what are we... So that'll be three shields. So just the six, okay. So this is Indaguri, this is Ezra, range one. He, no wait. 
Did he did he forget to sh do the stress thing? No, he's stressed on us right there. If Gurry survives here, can I just go off on a rant? So he takes a shield. Here comes Lorik. Hit, hit, crit. All right, spends the evade. Here comes the, uh, here comes the Y wing. It's we don't know if it's out range one or range two. It is range two. It's gonna spend that for two. Probably takes at least one here. Nope. Here comes the TLTs. You know what? He takes one. I'm just saying this isn't fair. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> when I do this, <laughs> he then suddenly gets other targets of opportunity to shoot at, not just the one ship. That's the rookie pilot. Oh, dear. Hit it, crit. He's got a target lock. Ooh, okay. This could do it. That's on me if this doesn't happen. That's my bad. Oh, my God. Hit, crit. It, he put the crit in the box. Put it in the box. Oh, oh, he's dead. Oh. Oh, that is huge. All now, is right with the universe. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, now, even though even though that was crazy, what happened is exactly what should have happened. And that is that Gary should have died. There was some crazy variants. Right, right. <laughs> it, it, a little bit of un, uh, unrealistic dice. Wow. Uh, but, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, we... We have 42 minutes left in the round, roughly. Um, one star viper down. Brand. The Y wing has taken no damage. No, you can't. No, because you can't regen. Because you can't. You can't do the whole. That's such a right. great idea. I get Max <laughs> Warthog firepower out of it yeah. until the game shifts to where I become Tia. Right. This is what I was saying. He shouldn't have been shooting the Y wing the turn before. <laughs> yeah, but we're not going to pay attention to you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying this all along. <laughs> wait, I'm sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> right. Exactly. He's got the space to do it. Uh, we'll see how how willing is Brandon to break his formation. That's going to be the question. Right. And I think now it's fair to do that. It did its job in clearing one of these ships, and he's not in a great. Hmm. I mean, he can't school a fish's way forward through this stuff and survive it, can he? We get the 4K from. Excuse me. All right, well. We get the 4K from the X Wing. 4K. <laughs> Where does this remote? It does. How does he not break it up here? We'll find out. Yeah. We're going to see. <laughs> Uh, looks like a turn. Looks like a white move. All right. Just three hard. Waiting for flight assist. If he wants it, he does. He's doing his best T70 impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for those of you who who are maybe are not aware of flight assist mech, it says that if you don't, if after executing a maneuver, if you didn't overlap anything, if you don't have any any uh, enemy ships within your arc at range one to three, you get a free boost or barrel roll action. So that's why he was able to do that. It's a pretty cool expansion pack and it comes with a free ship. It does. <laughs> I mean, it, it comes with, with arguably one of the best ships out no there right kidding. now. No kidding, yeah, but you don't need four of them. This is true. So um, 4K from the Y-Wing, he's getting uh, getting aggressive with it. So this arc uh, is going to be pointed sideways. We got kind of like a diagonal stress zone coming in there. So I don't know if that's anything's going to be there for that though. I d I don't think so, but 
um, Shizor is going to make sure that he doesn't just like one bank and boost in there because he, then he will be. Right. And and Lorik has a two turn. So we have we have the, the formation is broken. Um, we have threats on both sides. You got Lorik's shot there. That's why he's debating whether to focus or reinforce. Looks like he, he needed reinforce. I'm not sure uh, whether it's the front or the back. We'll see if the token gets moved here in a minute. I love both these lists. Yes, the time limit is 75 minutes. We have 40 minutes left in the round. I'm just going to declare this the final. <laughs> this is the uh, the stay on target final. Right. On my podcast, I'm going to claim this was the final. <laughs> I ignore what it says on the video. Well, remember, we, we're this new math that you've discovered. Correct. Um, that's incorrect. That means final. All right. So we have, uh, looks like target lock focus. On to Lorik there from Dalen. It was the back. All right. So it's confirmed that uh, it is the back that is reinforced. There's the one bank. If he boosts in here, he'll be uh, he'll be in Ezra's arc. So look, he just pushes for target lock, and where it's time to. Uh, See if he can kill Lorik. Yeah. I think that's that's the plan here. Yeah. He's gonna try to let his auto thruster do work. It's range. Look like two maybe. Uh, here comes three dice. We got the lock. You spin that every time, and you get to keep that focus. So it was range three, and with the reinforce takes two. He rolled two dice. Couple crits there. So he's currently at four. Let's see what uh, what the decision is here. He did spend the focus on the attack. Uh, shaken pilot. Sh double shaken. Oh, for a second I thought I saw blinded. Double shaken. Yeah. So Shaken Pilot says that he cannot go, go straight. straight next turn. I mean, that's, I guess he, he may have gone straight. <laughs> so the BTLA4 Y-Wing is going to do some work. He got hit crit on, on that the first the shot. First gun on the primary. Okay, good. Now TLT follow-up. Is he, is there, there's nothing to There's no modifiers there. Yeah. Okay. Takes no damage. And auto thrusters are in effect right now. Yes. Yep. It's gonna be really hard to push through damage with only getting twos on this. That was a hit. So he's got to get all eyeballs. Nope. All right. So no damage exchange there for Brandon. So he tr he's trading. Uh, you know, he traded one Star Viper for possibly Loric next turn. And he's got uh, he's got to get his formation back with uh, guns on target here. Just shield down. Yep. And I would imagine though Brandon's used to losing, for the most part, probably Lorik first every time. Yes. I would think so, yeah. You'd think Ezra? You just hate hate being shut down by the stress that much, even with Lorik keeping it alive. Yeah, but but what a stressed Ezra can be, depending on you know if you can, especially if you can get three defense dice. Yeah, Ezra can do work. Uh, f if if I may speak from personal experience, uh, yesterday uh, I was up against uh, a jank uh, rebel list with uh, the Miranda Lorik Ezra, and I lost Miranda on. Uh, Turn three, and I'm like, 
he hasn't lost a ship. What am I going to do? And I soloed his list with Lorik and Ezra because I stressed everything so badly, I effectively controlled him and got behind him. So, yes, Ezra is a huge threat if uh, the stress shenanigans can pile up. So he does a self-block here with a Y-Wing with Lorik to try to keep that arc back and see if he can get more of those triple tap. No flight assist. And it looks like the K turn. Well, he's, he's got Hera Crew. Right, yeah. So Hera Crew says that you can execute red maneuvers while stressed. So that's why he was able to do that. What is awesome, as William had shown with it, is when he sets up his K turn and then you are still within his snapshot. Yes, yes. You do it from a little bit farther back. That way you land right where they're going to be. That can be gross. So we're going to reinforce the back. You're protecting Ezra, but really that's more for, for Lorik than anything. See if you can keep it alive. And uh, here come the Vipers. Yeah. We're assuming the Y wing is going one forward, or he's already hit or he did. Yeah. It. Oh, that's right. He's, he's, he's moved already. Right. So I mean, we got arcs. We got a pretty big fan of arcs right now. So I think these vipers are going to be taking a shot from something. Whoa, this barrel roll. What is he doing? That. Well, it's still range one, which shuts down the TLT. But he's gonna. He's gonna be. Rolling through that rock next turn, though. Not if he pushes. <laughs> I mean, he can still do the hard one, but he'll be sad next turn. All right. Here's yeah, Ezra's obviously going to gun in there with probably a three bank or something. Oh, yeah. Hmm. All right, so if he does hard one and he's stressed. No action, right? And then Ezra gives a second on the follow-up shot. So, hmm. the wa the X wing mm -hmm, that's this might is Zizor the red ship up there. That's uh, Dalen is the red one, okay. and uh, Prince right. Shizor is the gray. Right. So here comes range one onto the Y wing. So here comes uh, Shizor. This is range two first. Oh, <laughs> hit crit crit. That's I'm all right. I'm gonna steal his dice. So there goes two shields off the Y wing. Looks like range one. All right. Does he? He doesn't have any modifiers on that, so it's just just the one. Well, he's not gonna. He's not gonna use it. I don't think he should. I don't think he should. <laughs> this is true. He has done it before. Uh, and evade. So, no, no, uh, consequences. no consequences there. Ezra is out right. by about a half a range. Nothing by the look of you. So, just the Y wing. Here comes bacon, lettuce, tomato. And I'm assuming he's going for Zizor to be able to get the triple shots in the back there. Well, you can actually split your fire if you want to. I mean, mm. you, you don't have to. Uh, do we get one here? So that that's going to be... So he's going to take two. Um, we can double check his ability. Let's take a look. Let's find out for sure. So, Prince Caesar says, when defending, a friendly ship at range one may suffer one uncancelled uh, hit or crit. Hit or crit. Instead of you. So, he could have passed that to Dalen uh, if he wants to. So, Dalen right now uh, might have the one hard if he doesn't want to hit the rock. But that might be the other reason why he didn't pass. Oh, 
You're right. He can't pass TLT damage. Which list is that? Okay, so table two here. Uh, Ryan S. beats Jesse Radar. Alrighty. Oh, it's, a, it's okay. He has ghost face nothing but ghost the whole time? Exactly. Wow. All right, okay, so we're going to have... Who well, knew we were going to have a ghost in the final? Well, but which version? <laughs> People want to know because you got to see so many versions of out there. But it's the uh, Lothal Rebel with uh, Maul and Ezra as the crew. Along with Sven Hotshot. So he's going to try to get aggressive here with this, uh, this X-Wing, I think. He's got three dice, four if he can get into range one. Um... <coughs> Especially with that weird spot that Dalen is in right now. Yeah, I'm curious to see what he does because Ezra is licking his chops. At Let, let's see what the action is here. Here comes Chopper. The BTL title is broken. The, the TLT has been freed from its bonds. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so part of it is like thank you for shooting at the, uh, at the Y-Wing. Yep. So, so I can be unhinged. So there goes the last of the. Here Wait, comes the X-wing. Are, are the shields correct on? Uh, let's go one one plus shield on that. Uh, three hard. I mean, he's going pretty hard here on Dalen. See if he can catch him. Because yeah, we're probably gonna get like a three forward out of Ezra, and just casting a huge net. That looks like a four forward. It's going a little bit faster. But I think it just that just makes the arc reach a little bit a little bit farther. I don't think there's anywhere that uh the back is reinforced. Here come the dials. So this is Shizor. I'm oh, sorry, this is Dalen. That's a three forward. He's going to hit the rock. That's probably out of range of snapshot. Yeah. Loses close. the, but he's going to be taking, uh, he's going to take TLTs, range three from the rookie, and. Uh, Did he snap? No way. No, just out. Okay. We got to get the rock for the damage. And that's a hit. Oh. So Dalen's going to be losing a shield. One forward from Guri. Just makes it. So he's going to get an action. And, I mean, it's Prince Seizure's job here to just, like, make a distraction. Like, hey, shoot me. Shoot, <laughs> shoot me instead. Please don't shoot my action list. So right now, uh, Prince Caesar is inside the TLT bubble, so the y he's safe from the Y-Wing. He doesn't want to go too far away because giving uh, giving shots. I guess he's trying to take himself. I Did Ezra have arc on him back further there, or mm -mm. he's just trying to maximize damage? I think he's just trying to maximize yeah. damage. But that means then getting him. So I guess it's more of what you said. It's like, hey, shoot me, shoot me. Maybe the temptation for the rookie is to go for the range one yep. as opposed to the wounded Dalen. Alrighty. Now the, he was flipping it down from the last turn. That was the can't go straight. So here's range one into Ezra. He's going to spend that focus for three hits and a crit. Wow. Trying to take the Ezra off the board. So the ability will kick in. So you get two hits and a crit. It could happen. Blinded pilot. Oh, That's huge. That is way huge. That is huge. Because now Dalen's dial is way opened up. And he 
just not going to be predictable. He has options now. So now, does the rookie just shoot Caesar Seiz because it's unmodded at range well, one? Now, now that well, now that Ezra is out of the equation, where you can't pile on to Dalen, maybe he takes or this. Maybe th they're the hold on. The white wing and the X wing are are ooh, are the same pilot skill, right? So here goes four four hits into Caesar. Caesar's dead. Oh, okay. Nope. He's got three. Wow. And you can still TLT. He still got the TLT there on Dalen. The other ship, yeah. It was too good of an opportunity to pass up. So he said, "Look at me." And <laughs> he said, "Okay." And Ben <laughs> and uh, Brandon said, uh, "Okay." You know what though? I, so if if Brandon Thayer goes into the final um, against this ghost list, he's a good, good he's got a good chance. Yes, because the one thing I've heard <coughs> from the ghost players when they lost was like there was just too many ships. Because he's got a lot of guns. He's burned, burned it down, spread Four out the Four ships. He's done, he did, he's done it three times. When he, right, I'm just saying. That's, that's if three of the, as long as the, the ships can take focus, the majority of them, then they can go a long way in getting rid of that ghost pretty quick. But uh, there's still there's still 23 minutes left in the round. We'll see if Dalen is an ace when right I now. When I asked people, I go, what did you lose to? They said, blah, 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 swarm too many ships. It seemed to be a common thing. I agree. We can get into that later. Something I don't know if this is the time or place for that, but yes. So we got no damage cards on Dalen. Dalen just making sure everything is up to date there. Um, the blinded pilot was huge. Um, it gives Dalen a chance. He is the ace right now. He has the highest pilot skill uh, on the board currently, and if he can leverage that, he still has 22 minutes left. Uh, you pick off Lorik. You pick off Ezra. You probably try to get the X-Wing, and then you win the game. Yeah. So his path to victory, as you like to try to figure out, mm -hmm. slim as it may be, his priority is uh, probably going to be lower, you think? But Ezra chasing him can really shut things down. That's I, I, I think Ezra might just – you could two-turn out and not, but not risk the damage. Ezra? Yeah, he's on one. Oh, oh. sorry. He just didn't but get updated. Because I was about to say, he'll just yep. go right out of that rock. What does he care? Uh, now he can't, maybe? Yeah. He may have to. Well, he can't K-turn because he's got to go first, and that's that three turn is blocked. That's a tough call. And, then, and, then, and yeah, and it makes sense. That's the last dial to c for him to consider. Unless he just YOLOs it and... Tries it anyway. Branch, can you do me a favor, man? There's something here in the view of the dice camera on the edge. Could you just push it over? So move the camera box over, or move? No, the it's just an there's some, there's an object there. I hope he, hopefully he understood what I said. <laughs> okay, he is French. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me apologize for him in advance. We're about to find out if he's really an engineer or not and understood what you said. Looks like there's uh, – I can't tell what it is. Oh, does it clear? Oh, why did I think he would only do a two? He's got a three. three. That's right, and because of Hera, Hera yeah. doesn't care. Uh, he flew this there's all day French's yesterday, and even hand. I didn't know that. There he goes. He got it out. Oh, we I did it. I really wanted to embarrass French. <laughs> okay. Right, good so job, Joe. He's there for the block. I mean, we've seen Ben do a lot of one forwards, well, one banks. If he goes too quick, he's getting snapshotted, and then that's it for actions. So, uh, if uh, Ben saw that, how does he not like hard two away? Do we see Dalen's ability? Do we see it? No, that looks like white. That looks white. Did he hard two? Oh, just a bump? No, that's marking. Oh no, yeah. snapshot. snapshot triggering here. That's snapshot and stress, and you're staying put. That's, oh dear. Wow. Snapshot, here it comes. Take a stress. Oh, two hits. Of course. Takes one because he doesn't have any modifiers yet. 
And now he won't get it. All right, so he's sitting at three hole there. And, and then a second stress will come from a regular shot. Yeah. I, it, it'll be tough to survive this, this round of combat. So we'll have, most likely, uh, looking at the way this is turning out here, a Rebel on Rebel final. We'll have right. this Rebel Jank squad versus a Ghost squad. Range two, um, so no auto thrusters. Two oh. coming in from Lorik. No, wait, this is, no, this is Dalen. Oh. All right. Sorry, yeah, you're d this Dalen on... Uh, on Wookiee. On the Wookiee takes two. Oh, does he have reinforced? He's reinforced, just one. That's right there. So he's down to one? Down to one hole. This is Ezra at range one. Evades. Hit crit coming from either the e Lorik or Ezra. I can't really tell. And, and uh, they're going to call it there. Wait, he's not dead. I thought a crit just got through. Double damage. Wow. So wait. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> so he's he's living on one. He's living on one because okay. he, he threw he threw an evade. Okay. Here's the other three dice shot. Don't trust the handshake. And now and we there, got okay. that's the handshake. Okay. All right. All righty. So well played by both uh, Brandon and Ben. Um, Brandon is able to finish the game with all of his ships alive. So that is a hundred old victory. Um, ben just couldn't quite get the damage through that he needed to, and. Um, there's a couple of turns there that really cost him the game. We'll be bringing you the final here in a couple of minutes. It'll be Brandon Thayer versus, what was that gentleman's name? Uh, Ryan, right? Brandon Thayer versus Ryan Staniszewski. I think I nailed that. <laughs> Pretty close. Um, just want to remind everybody. Uh, thank you for watching first, and if you want to help support the channel, two ways you can do it. Number one, patreon.com says Gold Squadron, the biggest group of people who support uh, the podcast and streaming. It helps buy all the equipment, pay for the travel, and get this stuff done. Um, get cool swag and support our content, or slash and. If you have Amazon Prime, you connect your Amazon Prime account to Twitch, and you get a free Amazon Prime uh, subscription, excuse me, uh, Twitch Prime subscription to the Gold Squadron podcast page. You click the button. It costs you nothing because it's just part of your Amazon package, and it throws a couple bucks our way. And if you did that a month ago, click it again because it doesn't auto-refresh. So each month, you just press the button. You give away free money. And I'll keep reminding you, thank you to everybody who's taking the chance, and you get a gumbo emoji. That's for the ne probably the next couple months, and we'll, we'll swap them out. And it's sweet. There you go. Thank you, uh all of them. <laughs> you get the the Neo Saturn. Uh, Neo Saturn just put it up there. The gumboat emoji. Thank you to Cosmic Jello for that uh, sub subscription. So uh, we're gonna get set here. Get things ready. Here comes our final. Remember the uh, the timer for the the final is two, two hours. Minutes.